I am going to read from the book called That Tree, an iPhone photo journal documenting a year in the life of a lonely bur oak by Mark Hirsch. I'm going to read about 10 minutes of it, and I want you to reflect on this book. It kind of, when I read the words from this book, it almost sounds like I'm talking about the family tree overall. You know, anybody, 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 it doesn't matter who you are. This book applies to you. And it's a lonely bur oak tree. Okay. Okay. Let's read the first introduction. Trees resonate deeply in the souls of millions of people. A lonely bur oak in the middle of a southwest Wisconsin cornfield spoke to Mark Hirsch. That tree spoke of hidden beauty and hope. It spoke of patience and dedication. It spoke of evolution. It spoke of things to come in years past, thus every day for the next year. Hirsch would quietly attempt to coax the stories from that tree. A little over one year ago, Hirsch purchased his first iPhone at the time. Hirsch, like many professional photographers, scoffed at the notion that the iPhone camera would interest him in any way. He was goaded by a friend into trying the camera. The first picture he took with his new iPhone was a photo of that tree. He was instantly hooked. Hirsch had given past an admired tree every day for 19 years without ever taking a picture of it. Now for an entire year, there hasn't been one day where Hirsch hasn't taken a picture of that tree. Here it is, the back of the tree. Thus, this is the back. He who owns a veteran bur oak owns more than a tree. He owns a historical library and a reserved seat in the theater of evolution. To the discerning eye, his farm is labeled with the badge of badge and symbol of the prairie war. Now, is there an internal war in all of us in our human family condition? There's nothing we can do about certain things. Okay. But we can do something about how we perceive that tree. Okay. Dedicated to that tree. May your presence be forever on the horizon. Okay. Okay, there's more that I could read about the introduction, but I'm going to continue on because I'm going to read, only going to read 10 minutes worth. This is an entire book filled with wonderful perspective of that tree. Okay, day one, March 24th. Spindly branches like black lightning with pastel skies and a break on the horizon. Here's a picture. He has day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven, and day eight. Okay, here's the photos. Okay, now I'm going to read what they say. This is March 25th through March 31st. Like desert pavement, the cracked surface of repaired waterways leads to a lonely old oak. Day three, contrast of color and life. Day four, lush spring grasses contrast with the unplanted cornfield beside that tree. Day five, that tree shows its first signs of springing to life. Day six, ethereal and windy sunset. Day seven, ancient and tangled branches encircle the trunk, reaching all the way to the ground. Day eight, burning bush. Getting difficult to come up with fresh perspectives, though it appears that tree is on fire. It's actually being illuminated by the headlights of my truck shining up the hill at its base. Now that's very interesting. Look at that. <laughs> all right. Okay, April, day nine, like a dart, starling flies from its perch amidst the barren branches. Day 10, remnants from last year's homesteaders, 
Day 11, old wounds from tying served as a fence post. Day 12, soon to be lost by a canopy filled with leaves. I decided to shoot that tree's skeletal shadow for today's perspective. Day 13, slightly larger than a mouse's ear. Oak leaves are starting to take shape on that tree. Here's the pictures. Those, this is, that was April 2nd through April 5th. Okay. Day 14. Sunlight illuminates the heart of that tree. Notice how you use the word heart. Day 15. Flat light and short on time. So today's perspective is a macro view from the south side of that tree. So he's giving directions. There's a direction on that tree. Okay. Day 16, a carpeted green waterway and fleeting cloud cover frames that tree on the horizon. Now, April 9 through 11, day 17. That tree dwarfed beneath a clear blue sky. Day 18, sunrise shadows and repeated patterns of that tree. Day 19, a waning moon hangs over that tree as the first rays of sunrise paint it a blood red against the morning sky. So there we go, we got astronomy features among the tree. This is April 12 through 14, day 20. Silhouetted against a vibrantly colored sky, that tree witnesses another beautiful sunrise. Day 21, like a sea creature on a bed of coral, a tiny spider hunts for prey on the mossy bark of that tree. To appreciate the macro perspective, the spider's outstretched legs would not cover the face of a dime. Day 22. I never know what visual discovery I might make in my ever-expanding field of view around that tree, kind of like life. This is April 15 through 17, day 23. Details, details. Looking very, he's using his camera to look very closely at the tree. Day 24, standing atop an oasis of green on a gloomy Monday morning, that tree overlooks the still brown and unplanted cornfields. So sometimes things are not planted yet, okay. Day 25, that tree's shadow is cast on a barren agricultural landscape once dominated by tall grass prairie. This is April 18 through 21st. Day 26, sculpted by a corn planter, furrows lead to a sentinel of the prairie. Day 27, a strong presence in sunlight or shadow. That tree dominates the horizon. Day 28, spring rains inspired a drive to that tree and a fresh perspective from the comfort of my pickup truck. Day 29, discovered remnants in the heart of a future oak. So generational things do exist in the human life. Don't be deceived. Creator is not mocked. Okay. Generational things. Okay. Day 30 through 32, which is April 22 through 24. New leaves unfurl on a long lived branch encrusted in lichen and mosses. 
a fallen leaf wrapped in the flow of wind-blown grasses. A cool discovery, spring's rebirth, and a clutch of wild turkey eggs. Turkey eggs from the first, right within the tree. Okay. So I'm going to stop there and just think about how you can look at this book yourself and find the wording and look at your own life and perspective of this tree. Look at the biblical family tree. Is it like yours or not? Is this oak like yours? Lonely in the middle of a prairie. Okay. Have a good day.